malaria, which is actually the biggest killer in this country. Uh, over 400 people are dying every day, and this goes unnoticed. No human being should die of malaria, a disease that can be prevented. The side of HIV AIDS was uh, also a very, very big problem for the country. That's what moved us as business people with the conscious. Uh, could we have a situation where we could intervene and be able to provide an African solution to an African problem? The factory has been in production for getting on for nearly six years. Manufacturing, World Health Organization, quality approved, antiretroviral and anti-malarial medications. It started out in its life as a uh, public-private partnership. The government of Uganda gave us a guarantee that if we were able to manufacture medicines that were approved by international regulatory agencies and the prices were comparable to any other, then the government of Uganda would provide the first market. The other partner who is very critical is Barclays Bank. Out of the $32 million that we needed to invest, Barclays Bank provided the initial $17.6 million. It was the only bank that was willing to provide finance for what initially appeared to be quite a risky investment. No one uh, in, in East Africa had ever contemplated manufacturing medicines to this scale. We came together, got our trade finance teams involved, they designed the right products for it, the leverage letters of credit that made this Greenfield project bankable. This started as a two million tablet a day factory, now six million and still going strong. Our dream is not only for Uganda. And God willing, we should be able to be a continental player. We started it with a lot of desire that we could reduce the impact of people who are dying because of these two diseases. The use of these drugs uh, has been so beneficial to me as a doctor. When I've seen the rates of mortality rates going down, that motivates me to see the whole community healthy, free from diseases, free from illnesses, free from struggles of life. <laughs> In the next three years, I think Barclays will again play even a bigger role. We should be able to team up and invest in a bigger plant capacity. We've been able to see a reduction in the deaths from malaria by almost half and still going lower. Accessing over half a million people to antiretroviral drugs to be able to make them strong and productive in this economy. This is a typical example of what we can do to change our communities. When ambitions change lives, we all prosper.